Hello, you guys. This is Pam with Pam's Hair Expo. Um, I do have my dreadlocks. They are locked, but um, I started them in April, so it's only been three months in. I had started them before then, but guys, remember when I got in the swimming pool, I got all the chlorine in my hair, so I ended up having to start back over. So I started back over three months ago, so this is three months in, and um, I had just retwisted them like a week ago. Um, and they're growing pretty fast, and the reason why they're growing super duper fast is because of it's because of this which is myconazole nitrate which is the same as monistat so this right here is the of course the walmart equate version so um they come in the, the small tubes and the big tubes when i went they didn't have any big tubes so i ended up in the small tube you guys but um this right here oh my god i used half the tube and when i say my hair just started like really getting that being growing like crazy and which i used to use the um monistat long time ago but i had stopped because um after my hair grew the length that I wanted it, I really didn't want it to grow any longer than that because there were particular styles that I wanted to try. So I put it on hold because there was other styles that I wanted to try. I didn't want to, you know, I wanted it to be a certain length. So instead of me cutting my hair, I just went ahead and stopped using the monostat, you know, and started trying the different styles and stuff like that. And then I started back using the monostat. But the monostat, when I say it actually works, it actually works. It will have your hair nappy and then it will make it grow very, very fast. So I have been um, getting a lot of my clients to do that. But, um... Yeah, like I said, you know, this to me, you know, I feel is, you know, like I said, three months in, that's pretty long to say that this is three months in. And, you know, we started off, you know, basically with stretch. But, um, you know, of course, I still use the olive oil for my hair, too, because the olive oil will help to grow, help to moisturize and all that. But um, on my channel, I do have it where um, I give you the description of how to put on single plaits. And what I'm doing is because I have a lot of different things coming up. And I'm not going to have time to comb my hair. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put the plaits on there. And then I'm going to put it up in a updo. I'm going to pin it up in a nice little updo or whatever. But um, I just wanted to show you guys that, yes, with dreadlocks, you can, you know, put um, singles in your head. You can put plaits. So I'm going, you know, by each one that I have. And I'm putting the weave on there. So, yes, it can be done. And like I said, also just check out... Um, you know, the video for how to put on um, plaits because it's going to be the same, you know, technique for, you know, people whose hair isn't dreaded already, but it'll be the, you know, same exact technique. But um, I am pretty much liking it and I know it's going to help my hair to grow because I do have another client who I um, did this to, you know, put the, the plaits on their dreadlocks. I should have recorded it. I'm sorry, you guys, but I didn't do it. But um, it helped to really grow their hair and they came to get it done every month. As far as like, um, you know, I put the, the plaits on and then I retwist their hair and then they'll leave it retwisted for like three days and then come back and I'll, you know, put the, the weave back in there. But it grew their hair so freaking long. But uh, I'm just going to stick with this for a little while, you know, because basically, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be busy for the upcoming month and I just want something different for my hair. And then maybe it'll keep me from being discouraged seeing that, you know, I got my little, you know, baby dreads. And like I said, it's completely locked up because I'm not able to really take these down. It's completely locked up. But, you know, this will help me from being discouraged.